so hello prajna so yes we have the star performer of paper number 20 of cma final spm and bbm she has secured 80 in this paper and i'm very 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 proud of you prajna many many congratulations to you so prajna is uh, prajna is now a cma now she can use the prefix cma before her name she has cleared both her groups together so prajna how are you feeling today kaisa lag raha hai i am feeling very happy ma'am all are happy at home and of course which is not possible without uh, mepl team yes absolutely even the parents must be very happy knowing your results yes ma'am yes so i also want to share one thing with you guys those who are watching this particular session this interview that prajna has given both the groups together and prajna very well knows the importance of giving the two groups together prajna would you like to share why two groups group 3 and group 4 should be given together please share your experience and share your yes, marks as well yes ma'am in uh, group 3 my total is 192 and in my group 4 my total is 218 uh, if i would have taken single group i could not have clear group 3 but right. with the help of clubbing of marks so i could uh, clear group semi final group 2 se set off ho gaya group 2 se basically set off ho gaya so which was the paper in group 2 which actually given you were zone for setting up with the group 1 spm bv mam paper number 20 tell in me which i got spm and bvm spm or bvm ka marks batao bhai 80 marks 80 80 my god 80 it's not exemption it's 80 80 is something which you have uh, you know set an example for this particular subject so i'm very much proud of you prajna i must say please tell me about this subject ye jo spm bvm subject hai yes. how was it was it theory was it practical and let me prajna has taken all the subjects for cma final in mepl and she has scored the maximum in this paper number 20 so you know this paper number 20 as when i started teaching this paper i always kept on saying to the student ki this paper is very scoring but students do neglect this paper but agar aap isme focus karoge this is the paper which can actually save you hai na and actually it has uh, these words have proved to be correct prajna ne bhi bola ki ye paper ne usse save kiya because she has secured 80 and group 1 ka jo aggregate total hai has because of this particular paper she is able to set off both the groups and now finally she has cleared the final hurdle and she has used the prefix before her name cma so prajna tell me about this particular subject how was it when I, when you started the classes what was your view point before you actually started aapke dimag mein kaisa tha iske bare mein about this particular subject and when the classes started what was your feeling about this subject tell me prajna when i took books from the institute i saw that uh, spm is very much uh, what uh, confusing subject i could not uh, in intermediate only i did uh, self study for all subjects but when i see wow. spm oh my god what is this <laughs> i could not remember this uh, subject so i thought of taking classes from mepl and uh, when you took first class uh, in which you you started uh, conceptual framework of spm in right. that uh, in the in the first class itself i could remember each and everything you taught uh, you taught in the class and uh, you made the subject very easy ma'am thank you thank you so much and uh, when the day the day of the exam when i gave the exam and came back home i told my parents that i don't know about other subject but in spm bv i i must get 80 plus <laughs> oh you were confident and, uh, that you're going to score this I much was, in the subject okay very much proud of you so is it a theory paper or is it is it a practical paper and what approach did you follow to crack this particular subject how did you get matlab uh, command over this subject itna marks ana you know is not a uh, i would say a guesswork so obviously you have uh, given your 100% your efforts in this subject so what strategy did you follow to study this particular subject and what is this subject all about is it theory is it practical is it boring is it interesting please express your view points on it Oh, yes ma'am spm is uh, 50% theory and 50% practical in uh, your chapter number 1 and 2 is 100% theory and uh, third and fourth is uh, full practical right. and bv is completely practical subject 
uh, the day before exam, I uh, could not uh, read any theory subject, theory concepts, but I solved each and every problem. And in class, you mentioned which problem to be solved in the uh, solved or day before exam. Yes, and I solved that the is a most important key point. You also have, you don't have to simply just keep on studying. This is a master strategy which yes. should follow. You should also fall, uh, you should also solve questions before your exams means that means you you don't have to solve it you have to actually read those important questions before your exams so yes, questions seeing the past year questions are also very much important and what are the questions which are important make a checklist on that while you are studying the subject by the same time you should also prepare the questions kon kon se questions exams ke pehle you have to actually revise hai na that will also save your revision time so that is a great point that you have prajna stated forward that you should also practice questions just blankly studying the study note will not be sufficient very good aur batao um and then uh, in bvm bv use uh, you Made yes, BVM like, and yes, BVM which which chapter did you focus on? Which chapter did you focus on most importantly, and which made you mergers and marks? Mergers and acquisition. Yes, mergers and acquisition. Right. Was it an easy topic? Yes, ma'am. It's very much easy. It's easy, you know. But <laughs> people, people students find it difficult. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Tell them it is very easy. You just need conceptual clarity. If your concepts are clear, the chapter is also very easy. Yes or no, Prajna? Yes, ma'am. If we know the method of uh, doing the calculation, it uh, hardly takes just five to ten minutes to get the uh, sixteen uh, marks. Sixteen yes, marks. Sixteen marks is secured here. So was the syllabus lengthy for SPM and BVM? But if you do, uh, if you do it smartly, so don't you think the syllabus was uh, not so lengthy as well? Yes, ma'am. No need to solve it. Yes. What were you saying? Please repeat. No need to solve each and every problem. We just need to mark which one to be seen a day before exam. Yes. And uh, because uh, as I have taken both the groups, I uh, I hardly yes. get to uh, just uh, eight to nine hours. That's it. Yes. In eight to nine hours, revising each and everything is highly impossible. Yes. Yes. There are total eight papers, right? So it is not possible to devote full time on one particular subject. So you know smart study. So next important thing which Prajna stated is smart study. You cannot practice each and every sum. You cannot practice each and every question. So before the day before the exam, you should already prepare a checklist. कि कौन कौन से questions करने हैं, कौन कौन से छोड़ने हैं. So smart study, है ना? Even if you cover hundred percent of the syllabus, but it is not actually possible to revise the entire hundred percent the day before your exam because the time is very short. and वैसे भी students were so much confused this time तो वैसे भी मतलब आधा तो they were uh, actually I, I should not say but they were ट्वेंटी to थर्टी परसेंट एट द बैक साइड दे वेर अन अवेयर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन पैटर्न वॉट विल इंस्टीट्यूट डू सो आधा टाइम तो उनका वहां पर वेस्ट हो गया था सो प्राजना टेल यूर मोर थिंग मतलब की हाउ मेनी आवर्स डिड यू डिवोटेड मतलब कैसे आप पढ़ते थे वॉट वॉज योर डेली स्ट्रेटेजी हाउ यूज टू मैनेज बोथ द groups together matlab on an average if you keep aside the tuition's timing is it necessary that we should do self study yes ma'am it's uh, very much necessary to do self study uh, yes. taking online classes taking coaching is not enough for clearing both the groups at a time you uh, because you don't uh, have a time to read any, everything a day before exam you need to do revisions three to four times each and everything by seeing a question only by seeing a problem itself you should your mind should tell this is the method to follow and Absolutely. so that you should Very you good. cannot waste so, time yes prajna also stated three to four times revision you have to do so that means ki ek revision to kab hota hai the moment you finish of the classes you should revise the same topic on that day itself right prajna and later on also second set of revision i would suggest ki jab aapka सारे ट्यूशन ओवर हो गए हैं आपको एग्जाम्स के दो महीने पहले सारे सब्जेक्ट्स को जो है रिवाइज करना चाहिए है ना एंड लास्ट थर्ड डोज ऑफ रिवीजन इज योर डे बिफोर एग्जाम यू कैन आल्सो मेक इट फोर डोजेस ऑफ रिवीजन इफ यू गेट एम्पल टाइम अगर आपको और टाइम लगता है मिलता है सो यू कैन ऑल्सो गो विद फोर राउंड ऑफ रिविजन सो दैट इज वेरी टू प्राजना थ्री टू फोर सेट राउंड ऑफ रिविजन यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डू सो प्राजना टेल मी वन मोर थिंग ये एसपीएम एंड बीवीएम सब्जेक्ट आपने पढ़ाई कहां से किया था वेर डिड यू स्टडी फ्रॉम Where did you study this particular subject? Where did you study from? कुछ extra किया था अलग से कहाँ से पढ़ाई किया था कैसे? Or did you follow just simply the lectures and the notes? 
and i followed the uh, study material provided by the institute and your ppt notes uh, which were yes. very much helpful digital notes you are talking and about right questions. yes and all the questions came from the institute itself no need to solve anything from uh, other absolutely sources. so you know institute mat ko cover karna bhi bahut zaruri hai and i made sure ki that i cover each and every corner of your institute mat hai na so spm i want one more misconception to be cleared from the students point of view you know when i talk to students who have actually not taken uh, the uh, who have actually uh, did not do not know about spm what it is theek hai ya maybe they are blankly just uh, reading the topic without understanding the practical uh, application of those chapter tell me one thing when we were discussing spm all the people call it as theory is it really only theoretical i know we have to remember certain things in that but is it theoretical fully theoretical spm bv is fully practical but what about spm is it theoretical is it boring no ma'am you made it very much interesting subject and you uh, quote uh, practical examples for each and every concept which helped us to remember the concept yes so you know all the big four concepts i was using to teach you all the yes. four chapters of spm so once you understand so gradually this i i remember the students were enjoying the classes they were waiting they were anxiously waiting even when i used to keep extra classes they never uh, uh, you know they were not reluctant about it they were welcoming the extra classes apart from the yes, pressures sir. of the remaining subjects they were always welcoming the extra classes for spm and bvm so i was very much happy with the feedback of students also that, that they were actually enjoying the lectures because we always not not only me but i i also have noticed it from the students perspective ki they were always inclined to do this subject so they were happy so they were happily enjoying the subject so you know i would also like to share one more important thing you have to study at the end and you have to give your exams so now you treat it as a burden or as an enjoyment that is up to you so when you start yes. enjoying your studies you start deriving pleasure in what you are doing so gradually you will be successful isn't it prajna so if you start yes, enjoying so you will not feel it as a burden you will not feel over pressurized so one more important thing you should always enjoy your studies because at the end we know ki we have come so far we have given our intermediate level now final bhi hame dena hi hai so why why so gloomy face enjoy your studies hai na and if you find enjoyment definitely you will start loving the subject and you will start uh, you know uh, be very much uh, anxious about knowing the topics in all the subjects i'm not only talking about my particular subject but the more you enjoy the subject the more uh, inclined you will be towards your studies so prajna any special strategy any special uh, uh, suggestions from your side for students because you know the entire uh, student fraternity is going to watch you is watching you actually and they really want some useful tips from you so that they can also excel well in their exams and secure you know uh, like you more than 80 especially in this subject so that even the if even if uh, they manage lesser marks in other subject it is going to compensate so tell me about it ki is it a scoring subject and what uh, special tips you want to give them last minute tips what do you want to tell them Ma'am, uh, the, we call the it day, again, uh, you know, Guru Mantra. So, Guru Mantra of Prajna for the students. Ma'am, the day, yes, the day you solve, the day you uh, go through a particular topic, you just you need to solve the past year question papers and uh, MTPs provided by the institute. And um, you, the day you read the uh, topic, the day at the end of the day, you need to you you need to revise the same thing before sleep. and the next day you can take a new topic but before revising the uh, topic you studied that day you should not sleep <laughs> that's the strategy guru mantra yes yes i am very much uh, you know satisfied with your answer even i used to follow the same strategy in my uh, studies days so whenever you are doing any topic whether it is self study or in your tuitions make sure you are completing that topic properly so when it comes to tuition you are only watching the lectures will, will not be sufficient you have to give give your own personal private time to that particular topic hai na and you should not move on to the next topic unless you are done with that topic so you should basically do all the homeworks which teachers generally give you in their classes so doing the homework makes uh, your topic complete right homework karne se you will gradually revise the topics and you will also have a command on that topic isn't it prajna yes ma'am so because prajna, studying any yes 
सो द लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू हाउ वॉज योर जर्नी विद एम ईपीएल आपका एम ईपीएल के संग जर्नी कैसा था It was a wonderful journey, ma'am. The classes were started uh, in April 28th, in the 2021 last year. Yeah. April, the classes were started. Uh, I'm uh, very much glad that I have taken class. It's one of the best decision that I have taken classes from MEPL team, and I wish very good name and fame in future to MEPL. And especially you, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, you Prajna, for giving your precious time and your guru mantras with the students. We are lucky and fortunate to have students like you. So it is really My very pleasure. precious. And God bless My you, pleasure. dear. And uh, I wish all the success ahead in your life. And uh, I wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors. May you come out with flying colors like this. in all the uh, careers of your life matlab whatever you are going into i wish you excel in your life so what are your future plans by the way prajna the last question for the day what are your future plans what have you thought for iske baad abhi kya ma karoge ma'am first of all i would like to complete my article ship then okay, i can good. think of very good so where are you doing it from right now and where are you from i missed this question i am from karnataka ma'am bangalore okay you are from bangalore so where are you doing article I belong to a small town, okay. and I've done my yes, I've done my uh, all schoolings and uh, colleges in that town only. Wow, so, that is this, that is tremendously you know very appreciable. You did not let us know that earlier. So, uh, being from a small town, clearing all the school professional uh, colleges level at that uh, from that small town, and then coming up with this uh, ma great marks and this professional uh, you know course. it is really very appreciable prajna very much proud of you dear very much and how or was your parents reaction when you cleared the cma final level and when you announced that you have passed finally what was the feeling and what was the you know atmosphere all around how, how were they feeling they were very much happy uh, because uh, i always used to tell them because this time i don't know i'm not sure but they were they have very much confidence in me they were sure that uh, you will definitely clear the exam no need to worry that uh, confidence give me a boost <laughs> yes that is true parents always you know act as a catalyst they keep on enhancing your performance they keep on motivating you so that is very true they are always you know they are uh, their role is uh, you know uh, is immeasurable you cannot express them in words their role is totally unparalleled so prajna thank you very much for taking out the precious time and sharing your uh, special advice with all the students pan india level so yes definitely they are going to take inspiration from you and you have given uh, also them this advice that you should give both the groups together because prajna you know is a example ki how did she manage both the groups uh, by setting off group 4 marks with group 3 marks so this, this uh, i also request all the students don't go for one group give both the groups together theek hai so thank you prajna wish you all the success ahead bye bye take care dear lots of love bye bye take care